Hi, I'm Steve Green. Um, in this video we're going to be adding a JavaScript um, web resource, um, deploying it to CRM, adding the uh, JavaScript library to a form and then setting um, an on-change event to call our JavaScript function. So I'll begin by, I've got a standard um, CRM developer toolkit solution and within the package I can right click on web resources add choose new item choose a JScript file give it an appropriate name um, what we'll do is something like uh, when the first first name field on a contact is changed we'll populate the last name with uh, just a, a, a string so if we call it update contact or something like that That then adds under a script subfolder this update contact JavaScript library. If we look at the properties, we can see that it prefixes um, the publisher uh, to the front of it. So in this case, my publisher is FSO for Feline Soft. And obviously, then the file name itself is just update contact.js. This is now open. And if I define a simple simple method, and what I'll do is do a check that if the first name field actually contains a value. get value is not equal to null then we'll set the last name oops, missed the speech marks set value all these um, methods can be seen in the SDK under the client writing, writing client code if I just show you that, so where I've extracted my SDK to is the root of my C drive, then there's the SDK help file. If I double click that, maximize it, under the software development kit, you've got a uh, right client application extensions, and you've got a client side programming reference, and under here all the XRM page objects are available, the context, data.entity, obviously there's a shorthand version which is um, get attribute uh, sorry, the, uh, the entity attributes collection is a shorthand version it's all the various, all, all listed underneath that area of the SDK so, so if I just finish this uh, line of code so it's just going to do a very very simple check if the first name value is not null if so set the value of the last name to test otherwise we could set it to null so it blanks the last name if the first name doesn't contain a value So that's a very, very, very simple uh, JavaScript function. We can now deploy that to the platform, which should take uh, maybe a few minutes. So I might pop this on pause. So that's now um, deployed to the platform. Took a, a couple of minutes because, as I've said previously on other videos, I'm doing this remotely from my office down a VPN tunnel so it's a, a little bit slower than normal if you were on premise. So if I go to my CRM settings sorry, just pop my password in and solutions my Visual Studio developer toolkit is connected to this CRM demo solution so if I open that 
and go to the web resources we can now see this update contact JavaScript library that we just created if I double click it and click on the text editor I can see the um, editor within CRM and see the same content so there's my first name on change method now in order to enable that on the contact form we need to go to the contact entity which I will need to go to the standard customization jail because it's not part of my solution so if I open customization, customize the system expand entities find the contact entity where we want to use my JavaScript function go to the form a few seconds because it's remote so we want to open the main contact form once that loads if we click on form properties so it's loaded the standard form designer click on form properties and this is where we can add the JavaScript library to the form So now you can see in, under the form libraries area, there are no JavaScript libraries currently loaded. If I click on add, it will present me with any JavaScript libraries in the system that we can then click on the name. OK. And now we need to define, obviously it's not an onload or on save event for the form itself. But I've now added that library to the form. So now if I double click on the first name field, and go to the events tab the only obviously the only single event for fields is the on change event and obviously you can see above if I expand form libraries that library added to the form is present there we could have added it from the field properties so if I click add it defaults to the only available library on the form if there were multiple you'd have to pick the library and then choose the function name so if I copy that just to prevent any chance of a typo first name underscore on change it's enabled don't need to pass execution context because we're not trying to extract IDs or anything so okay that as you can see it's enabled okay that save take a second publish the form it's important to always publish your changes if you want it to become active and once that publishes I can then close that customization go to the contact screen create a new record type in tab out and you can see it fired the on change event and put test in the last name field so what we could do now just to show you the process for updating now we've registered the, the library against the form and the unchange event has got the function registered we could come in here and just change that to a different last name just save that, I don't need to save it but and if I deploy again again this will take a minute or two so I'll pop it on pause okay that's successfully deployed now um, I did forget to mention the reason why this is quite slow although it's down a VPN is from earlier videos this solution contains a plugin and a workflow with both with early bound classes which does increase the size of the solution somewhat so it does take a little while to deploy if you just had JavaScript libraries uh, in your web resources even down a VPN it would probably deploy in seconds so anyway that's now deployed but what we need to do before that becomes active, so if I close the contact we were creating, if I were to create another contact and put in something similar, you can see it's still putting test in because we haven't published the JavaScript library changes. So it is important once you deploy the solution again, workflows and plugins will be immediate they replace the assembly but JavaScript libraries need to be published so if I publish all and take a few seconds then once that's published that new JavaScript library will be active and uh, when I 
create a new contact already to an existing and change the first name you should see the change syntax take effect so now if I put it in again you now see that, that latest version has took effect um, yep that's the that concludes this video if you've got any comments or requests then feel free to post them below thanks for watching